Welcome back. Well, it looks like a very wet pattern as we move forward with the threat of heavy rainfall locally, heaviest rains down toward the coast, and maybe some flooding rains. We're going to have to keep a close eye on this one as once again, like late last week, very heavy rainfall right near the coast. Will it move inland or will it stay offshore? We'll try to answer that. First off, though, let's take a look at that water vapor imagery and the upper level low that is guiding things and an upper level ridge of high pressure that's over by southeast Georgia. The two are combining to funnel tropical moisture toward Louisiana. And once again, a little bit of a outflow pattern as you get into the upper parts of the atmosphere. So tropical development, not out of the question. Uh, we do think there's going to be a surface low developing, but bottom line, development or not, we're going to see the threat of very heavy rainfall. And it's only going to be maybe about 100 miles away where we're talking 10 to 20 inch rainfall. Hopefully that's all offshore or in the wetlands. Still a pretty busy picture for 10 o'clock at night with scattered showers and some rumbles of thunder, especially as you get into the coastal parishes, plain old moderate to heavy rainfall occurring from Vernon Parish on northeastward and more activity offshore. And you can see kind of moving in a cyclonic fashion, and that's been the story over the last day or so. We get into Acadiana, most of Acadiana not seeing a whole lot of rain. It's pretty much around the edges, but spotty light rain or drizzle possible and more shower activity certainly likely overnight tonight. Now, as for rainfall just over the last 12 hours, hours. Some spots catching a good two to four inches of rain. Others not a whole lot. And you can see some areas verifying with those bigger rainfall totals over eight to nine inches of rain across portions of southeast Louisiana. And then we go offshore. There's even more. Now as we move into tomorrow and Friday, the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch through Friday for the threat of some locally heavy rainfall, mainly I-10 parishes on southward in south Louisiana. And we do have a flood warning going in Vernon Parish right now for the expectation of about four to five inches of rain. So some localized flooding there possible through shortly after midnight. Now, as we move forward, as we look at the Weather Prediction Center, they're putting us in a level two out of four for the risk of excessive rainfall. It's called slight, a 10 to 20% chance of too much rain that could result in flooding for tomorrow. And much the same as we head into Friday, although that uh, the threat of the heaviest rains begins to push off to the east. Now, it's going to be tough to nail down who sees the most rain and where the most is going to be, but we think it's going to be along the coast. Again, this is the Weather Prediction Center, so count on two to four for most of Acadiana, but then you're pushing five, maybe up to ten inches as you get along the coast. We'll show you the model data in just a bit. First off, though, satellite imagery not showing much going on with this disturbance out in the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane Center not talking about it quite yet. We do have another tropical wave. This is the one that's heading for the southern Gulf. That may develop with time. And then we have other candidates out here in the Atlantic Basin, but none showing enough promise that they're going to develop soon. But one up here in the North Atlantic, Eastern Atlantic, Central Atlantic, and that tropical wave that's heading toward the Caribbean. Notice no yellow area over this area. And you'll see why I think we might have a little bit of a depression going on here as we move forward. Now tomorrow, just showers and some thunderstorms moving in. Again, the threat of locally heavy rains and spots. But the bigger rains coming in tomorrow night going into Friday. And this is the third model run in a row for both the HER and the GRAPH model indicating an area of low pressure. Maybe the heaviest rain stay offshore. The winds could pick up offshore. Not expecting any wind here. It's still going to be a rainfall forecast. So here's the latest HER model and most of us kind of seeing that one to three, two to four. I-10 quarter on northward. Lesser amounts to the north but down by the coast we see eights and nines and uh, maybe some tens and just offshore 15 to 20s and the GRAPH model pretty much on the same horse here as well. Uh, showing the threat of even heavier rainfall and we pay attention to the graph in the tropics. I don't think we're going to see a 20 inch rainfall inland, but we'll have to keep an eye on things as some very heavy rains could fall uh, with that system just offshore. The good news is that whole system gets pushed out into the Gulf of Mexico with a frontal boundary that gets here for Saturday. So 76 the overnight low tonight. Oh, it's humid out there. Sweaty windows, foggy windows once again. And then for tomorrow, we'll keep it in the lower 80s with showers and thunderstorms likely. We've toned down the rain chance to 90%. Not everybody sees the rain tomorrow, but most of us do. Same goes for Friday. I think that's the day we see the heaviest rainfall. Tapers Friday evening. Then great looking weather for the weekend. Now models starting to cut back up some of that tropical moisture midweek. So maybe some rain back in the forecast, but it doesn't look too serious. And temperatures, well, no 90s on that 10 day forecast. So there's a start there as well. And this weekend's going to feel fabulous. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more.
more a little bit later on.